All right, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, last time we finished up chapter three and and started chapter four. So now we just have a free day. We have three bonding points and I believe seven bonding events. So some people are going to get left out. Um. So, fun, fun little fact, I had a failed recording session of this, I didn't get very far, so it's not like I spoiled anything for myself, because, again, this is all blind, well, most, like, 99% blind, and, um, uh, during that failed, uh, take, I spent, like, 15 minutes trying to figure out why a hidden quest wouldn't activate. The reason for that is simple. Because, uh, I had the wrong time of day. Hmm, what to draw, what to draw. Planning on spending the day on your artwork, I take it? Yeah, it's an art club thing. The assignment is to draw something that's important to us. Then present our piece to the club. I'm struggling to figure out what I should draw, though. Oh, wait. This is a bonding event. Sorry, guys. Not right now. Yeah, I should have thought a little more about that. Alright, so now... Let's see. How much... I don't have any. Alright. Uh, let's see. Manly Munchies Coffee. Sure. Arabonian Art History. Mil military Mania. And Swimming Strategies. Alright. With that. Let's see. Coffee. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Swimming strategies. <clears throat> it's all about how to improve your swimming form. It's kind of confusing without someone to show you the motion, so... Maybe Laura could help me with that. Here we go. Little boost to Laura. Military Mania. Hmm... V knows a lot about this stuff. Maybe I should recommend this to her. Ooh, so close to leveling up. Alright. Erebonian Art History. Wow, this book is Gaius all over. I should tell him about it later. I think that's it. I mean, we have the Imperial Chronicle. Alright. Okay, with that... Over here at the cafe... Supposed to be... Maybe it's inside. Oh, hey, Machias. Are you a bonding event? You are a bonding event. Oh, it's the twins. Upstairs, maybe? Oh, look who it is. <clears throat> hey, kitty. You really get around, don't you, Celine? Hmm, fur has such a nice sheen. I wonder if she let me pet her now. <laughs> Not today, I guess. Will you do it for some milk? <laughs> Seriously, such a scenery cat. <laughs> she seems so happy. Man, that is so adorable. These are rooms, right? Yeah.
BB thought it'd uh, be fun to swap places yesterday, so I played along. But the head of the gardening club is a lot sharper than she seems. She figured out that no, I wasn't BB immediately. Dang. And I bet Vivi didn't get caught. I've been switching places with uh, Linde since forever. It's pretty fun to be able to live someone else's life for a while. <clears throat> Just as long as you're not, you know, causing trouble for that person, Vivi. Seriously. Alright. Alright. Uh, next up, we're actually going to go to... The student union building. Is it just me or is the loading taking just a bit longer? Maybe it was my little trip to Crossbell. That might have something to do with it. Hello, uh, student council president. How you doing? Oh, Reen. Did you get the request list? I sure did. Hmm. Okay, so, small thing. This bothers me a lot. Like, you gave her voice acting. And if she continues to talk, that is just oh, so annoying. I sure did. I'm actually working through it right now. Yeah. Glad to hear it. <sighs> I was half asleep on my way to the academy this morning. So I wasn't totally sure if I'd put them in your mailbox or not. I take my work home all the time. But the sleep deprivation is really starting to get to me. Go to sleep. Wait, you're saying you deliver them personally first thing in the morning? <laughs> That's right. I dropped them off on my way to the academy. On your way? Our dorm is anything but on your way to the academy from yours. It's, it's in the opposite direction. <sighs> I had no idea you were going that far out of your way for me. Oh, it's really no problem. You're always helping us out, so it's the least I can do. <laughs> well then, good luck today. Thanks. Still feel bad making her go out of her way for me. I have to work extra hard to make up for it. Tawa! Seriously. And I mean... It isn't... So, okay, so I'm assuming... Like, she is part of the... One of these two dorms. I'm pretty sure the lower class dorm. Granted, it's only maybe like a few minutes walk to Class 7 dorm, and it does take an extra few minutes to get to the academy, but I don't know. Uh, let's see, and then... Uh... Oh, how pretty. You the person I want to talk to? Although we mainly focus on flowers here, we also grow a few vegetables. My personal favorite are these acerbic tomatoes. Few things taste better than a big bitter bite of a tomato. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hey, another fishing spot. Let's see what what he has. He's got a mute. Carp badge, sword tail badge, EP charge twos, ones, tier up bombs, and tier bombs. Uh, whoop. There we go. Eating them is great. A uh, great way to beat the summer heat too. Is there anything a separate tomatoes can't do? All right, with that, okay. Uh, am I certain about any of this? No. Hey there, Yusis. What's happening? The tea here is of considerable quality. <laughs> you, you're looking pretty comfortable. Have you been coming here often lately? You might say that. I've been caught up in some bothersome circumstances, as it were. Oh? Well, pay it no mind. It's nothing but a trifle, really. I wonder what's going on. Maybe I should ask him. Sure. 
You know you can always come to me if you've got something weighing on your mind, Yusis. I'm willing to listen, or help out, or whatever you need. I really meant it when I said it was just a trifle. But that said, having you around may make things easier when they arrive. Yusis casually invited Reen to join him for a cup of tea, and together they sat down to relax. Ah, nothing's more relaxing than a good cup of tea. Kind of surprised you treated me, though. Think nothing of it. Consider it an advance payment of sorts. See, that sounds ominous when I don't know what you're paying me for. And here they come now. Good day. It appears our paths have crossed once again. Is this one of your friends from Class 7? That he is. They're upper class second years from what I can tell. If you have business with me, I'd appreciate it if you made it brief. Well, how should I put this? We just wanted to ask you once again if you'd be interested in accompanying us to the salon. Oh, now I get it. As I've told you before, I'm afraid I have little interest in spending the day being pampered. And, as you can see, I have prior arrangement with a friend of mine. I, I see. Well, terribly sorry to interrupt. But should you have a change of heart, we would love to see you there. You could even bring your friend along if you'd like. The upper class second year uh, slouched off towards the salon with a look of disappointment on their faces. So, I see people have started inviting you up to the salon again. Indeed. While I was able to dissuade them for a while, it seems as though they've all steeled themselves for another salvo. I found that the haughtier the noble is, the easier and more satisfying it is to reject their invitation. Finding the words to decline more subdued ones, like the ones we just spoke to, is much more difficult. So he used me as an excuse to keep them away. Clever. I don't think those two had any ulterior motives, though. It just looked like they wanted to talk to you. If that were the case, then there would be no reason to invite me to the salon now, would there? Heh. <laughs> Inviting you someplace exclusive is probably tied to their noble pride. People have probably started inviting you again because you're not as hard to approach as you used to be. So this all comes back to you, then. Shut up, phone. Yeah, I don't know about that. But more importantly, why don't you take them up on their offer sometime? The salon might be full of snooty people, but I'm sure there'll be more students like them who simply want to talk to you. Hmm, perhaps I will, if the motivation strikes. But you'll be accompanying me if I do. Heh, <laughs> sure. Your bond with use is strengthened. Oh yeah, level 3. Counterattack and cover. Sweet. Okay, our next stop is actually the cafe. Hmm, maybe I'd uh, be better off with a less formal tone. Hey there, Machius. What are you up to? Well, what should I write? Just drawing a blank here. I don't even think he heard me. Is he studying? He's not writing in his notebook, though. Should I try to get his attention? Hey, Machias! Whoa! You almost gave me a heart attack. When did you get here, Reen? <laughs> Just wondering what you're up to. Oh, is that a postcard? D don't look, please. So you're, oh, so you're writing a submission for a radio show. There's no point in hiding it now that you've seen it, so yes. I want to submit an entry for the campaign this program's running that lines up with the summer festival. But as you saw, I got a bit carried away trying to make it something worth actually sending in. <clears throat> huh? 
I never figured you for a radio buff, to be honest. Let's see here. Ween took a look at what Machius wrote. D don't just read someone's writing without their permission. <laughs> Why not? I'm just going to make fun of you for it. Uh, oh wait. <laughs> Oops, I read that wrong. I'm not going to make fun of you for it. Probably. Let's see. Hi Misty, big fan of the show. Oh, neat, it's Robin time. Wait, you're familiar? Sure, I'm, I've been a fan for a long time now. Missy's got a great voice, doesn't she? She really does. I practically fell in love from the very first syllable. I can't believe I had a fellow fan who's so close this entire time. <laughs> I don't think we're the only ones either. People have been spreading the word. It's a shame our field study runs through the summer festival, though, isn't it? Yeah. When I was younger, I used to go along every year with... What's with the sudden silence? Sorry, it's nothing. Either way, we'll just have to focus on our field study and put the summer festival out of our minds. It's a shame, but I guess you're right. Here's hoping. Uh, here's hoping Misty reads your submission on the air, though. You said you wouldn't make fun of me. I wasn't. Ah, uh, not enough. He needed some work, though. Holy cow, his uh, link EXP is very low. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everyone else has three. Machias is being left behind. Uh, let's see. For the final one... Uh... Uh, there's Emma, there's Elisa, there's Sarah, and there's Gaius. Hmm. Oh, and there's Fee. I was like, I, I knew there was someone else. So, Fee. Um. Alright, let's ask the coin again. Alright, the coin has spoken. That was one uh, hell of a coin flip, though. Hi, right, Crow. We'll talk to you in a minute. After I'm done conversing with my bonding events. Literature Club. There's Emma right there. Emma, if you were staring at those pages any harder, you'd burn a hole through them. Reen, um, how do I explain this? Dorothy asked me to proofread this manuscript of hers, you see. Sounds like a rough job. Couldn't help but notice you're looking a little red, though. Are you feeling alright? <laughs> I I'm feeling perfectly fine. And th this manuscript definitely isn't full of uh, salacious imagery, either. Say what now? A anyway, I'm doing fine, so there's no need to worry. All right, how about I give you a hand with the proofreading? Well, what? Y you want to help out with this? Is there some reason I shouldn't? Uh, of course not. Well, um, if you really insist, then feel free. <laughs> um, Emma? Y yes This wasn't, uh, written by mistake, was it? It's definitely a romance novel, but all the characters are guys. That does seem to be the case, yes. <laughs> so, how did, uh, how did you like it? Oh, please say you loved it. It'd make my world feel so much wider. Uh, how do I put this? I feel like I've been introduced to an entirely new world, one that I might not uh, have wanted to know existed. I, I had no part in writing it. I had no idea Dorothy wrote uh, these sorts of story until recently. <laughs> this is the genre of young womanhood. Come on, you two. There's a lot more for you to proofread. 
Escape. Ah, she finally let us get some rest. These aren't the easiest novels for a guy to get through. <laughs> I was afraid of that. But that genre seems to be pop uh, getting more and more popular with Erebonia lately. Well, to each his or her own, I guess. And while I'm always glad to have my horizons broaden, also that and is out of the text box, I definitely could have done without some of the more graphic details. Agreed. I'm feeling a little flustered myself after that. I got so embarrassed that I fogged up my glasses. Emma removed her glasses and placed them on the table. Emma? Yes? Is something wrong? Oh no, it's just that this is the first time. Tax box. Uh, you have space. Just, uh. I've, uh, this is the first time I've seen you without glasses on. What? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. It's just, I mean, it really, uh, changes up your look. I'm not, uh, I'm sure not complaining. <laughs> How embarrassing. Uh, perhaps we should get back to proofreading now. Oh yeah, right. Um, there's no need to force yourself through, uh, the worst of these. If they get too graphic, I'll take care of them. And thus they return to the club room to wade through erotic tales of passionate young manhood once again. As Reen and Emma near the brink of exhaustion, the proofreading finally came to an end. There we go. <laughs> wow. All right. So now we have people we can talk to. There's at least, well, there's one person here. The other two I've talked to. Man, if only we could bet on the race, I'd be rolling out of here with, on a wave of Mira. Watching them's fun enough, but it's just not the same without cash on the line. You know what I mean? We'll just have to deal with it. Rules are rules, unfortunately. But speaking of, I read something very interesting in a magazine the other day. Interesting, you say? I'm all ears. I wanna know. Nope. Talk to him. Alright, what do you have? Do I have... Alright, I could use some more battle scopes. Keep my stock good on them. Can I... No. I can't ruin the Aeroponia economy yet. Oh yeah, there's a quest in there. I'll deal with that in a sec. First, people. Alright, Elliot's probably in his club. Wrong way. Super speed! Musical performances are just one of the things the Summer Festival is famous for. The local music academy sends out a group to play there every year. <laughs> Maybe this year it'll be... Um, Sun the Matter? Nah, I was just remembering how I'd uh, go watch them every year. I guess there's still a part of me that wishes I could go this year too. Alright, with that, uh, there is a little... Little cat on the first floor, let me guess. Oh, she's in the infirmary, so yeah, definitely. Tss. Looks like she's sleeping. Well, I'd rather her sleep here than outside. Oh, hello there. Are you here to see Fee? She's sleeping right over there. 
So here's my question. With the summer uniforms, like I know with the winter uniforms, you can tell by the um, by the color coat. But in the summer uniforms, how are you supposed to tell these guys are class seven? Like that was the whole big like identifiable thing. Let's see if Elliot has anything identifiable on him. I'm on the wrong way again. Elliot, you have anything identifiable? All right, so this is a regular. Okay, the color ties then. My foot! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that hurt! The pain! <laughs> anyway, um, next stop is the gym. Please don't be giving them too much trouble, Laura. And boom! Let's see. There's a person over here. Yep, it's Laura. <laughs> Just kind of standing a foot above the pool floor. Merely focusing on my swimming has proven a good way to rid my mind of unwanted thoughts. Now for one more set. Hello. Planning on staying late again, Monica? I get that you want to improve and all, but I can't see pushing yourself like this ending well. This is the only way I'll ever be able to get out into Laura's level. And I'm not going to stop until that happens. Monica. If I want to be uh, friends with Laura, I need to focus on making us equals. I won't stop pushing myself until the day comes. Oh, that is not... Curious about Laura and Monica, but I need to stay focused on tutoring Emil this evening. I guess I've just got to wait and see how things turn out for them. <clears throat> Aww. Alright, so we have three... Yeah, three... Well, I've already talked to Gaius. Oh, hello. Hmm, what kind of clothes would he like? Are you getting something, uh, for Gwen? Yeah, Sharon's helping me pick out some clothes for him to wear in the fall. After I was lucky enough to meet with him on last month's field study, it only, uh, it only feels right to send him a little gift. That's really nice of you. And probably, uh, pretty practical, too. The Highlands seem like they'll get really cold over, uh, once summer's over. They should arrive just in time if we send them in, uh, in the next few days. Now all we need to do is find something that actually suits him. I'm sure that Master Gwyn will be overjoyed to receive a thoughtful gift from you, Lady Elisa. I do hope that you can find something suitable. Hmm, I'm not really sure what to pick. Anyway, that's outside my expertise. Hey there, Teach. Waiting on someone? Okay, let's boogie. Huh? I wonder what she's heading out onto the highway for. I mean, it is her, so I probably don't need to be too concerned. Okay. <laughs> she just up and leaves us. Hello, children. Yeah, Mommy and Danny were fighting today. Do you know how to make them stop fighting, Kurt? Oh, no. My Mommy and Daddy argue sometimes, too. But they always make up later, so don't worry. I hope that's the case. Mm. Alright, what you got? You always seem to be betting on the horse races, but have you act ever actually won anything? Stow it or you'll win a knuckle sandwich. Huh. 
Celestial Bomb EX. Wow. EP Charge 3 used Tier All Bombs. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Mine 2. I already have uh, some Mine 2s, I believe. Alright. What do you got? Oh, same old stuff. May as well. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if uh, guys has anything different to say. Now that I can no longer use my bonding points. Yep. None new. Alright. Uh, well, in that case, I guess it's time we start picking up quests. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We have Childhood Friends uh, Intentions. We have Snapped for optional stuff. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Rumor has it that a first year in the photography club who shall remain nameless has been taking pictures of people without their permission and selling them to other students. If this is true, I need to make him stop for his own good and everyone else's. If you are willing to assist, please come to the photography club's uh, club room. And this one, where is it? The upper class dormitory. Um... Alright, let's head on to the student union. Let's start actually doing some quests, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, Photography Club. That is the... Chess... Fishing... Photography. There we go. Hello there. You must be Fidelio. I assume that's how you pronounce it. You send in a request about the photography club to the student council, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm actually head of the photography club. Given that you're a first year helping out the student council, I suppose that makes you the reen I've heard about. Guilty as charged. I believe your request said something about an issue with a first year club member? That's right. I was hoping I could handle it on my own, but that's becoming less and less likely. I really do want to stop Rex, though. So, would you be willing to help, uh, lend a hand? Of course. Let's get him. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Like I said, the matter I want to discuss with you concerns a first-year student by the name of Rex. Apparently, he's been taking inappropriate photographs of girls without their permission. And to make matters worse, he's been exchanging them in shady deals with some of the other boys at the academy. <clears throat> well... That definitely sounds pretty sketchy. In fact, it sounds like a blatant violation of the Academy's rules. Indeed it does. I'm not sure exactly what kind of photographs they are or what he's exchanging them for. But the fact he's violating the rules of the Academy is clear. If he keeps it up, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up suspended or even expelled. And that's why I want to stop him before it's too late. That's true. He... Uh, he's practically doomed if uh, the instructors or the girls themselves find out about this. Speaking of which, have you tried discussing this with Rex in private? I've asked about it a few times in passing, but he always plays innocent. I assume he thinks it's safe to continue as long as he doesn't get caught in the act. I see. In that case, let's catch him in the act. Bust him while he's uh, exchanging his photos. I wish I didn't have to. It didn't have to come to this but I don't think we have any other choice at this point. But a word of warning, he's been extremely vigilant lately. I think I might have raised the issue one too many times and put him on guard. Which is why I'm going to ask you to catch him for me. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Rex and I uh, might be from different social classes, but I've always seen us as friends who shared a mutual trust. All I want is for him to understand that he's what he's doing and stop. But uh, it does make me sad that it's come to this. We'll just have to hope 
that catching him in the act will give us a give us a chance to show him what he's doing is wrong. I suppose you're right. Either way, he seems to have a number of prearranged spots where he conducts these deals. I've managed to work out two of them so far. The first of them is behind the storage building on the field, and the other is near the old schoolhouse. Hmm, those spots do uh, seem secluded enough to get away with something, some shady business. He has a good eye for these things. You're going to want to be careful when trying to get near him though. He has a knack for sensing danger. Tread very lightly. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll start looking for him in the uh, two spots you mentioned. <laughs> Alright, first up. The Academy Field. Well, there is our person of interest right there. Oh man, this picture is great. Rex, you're an artist. A genius, even. Heh. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but you're totally right. I am a genius. Found him. Looks like Fidelio hit that nail right on the head. Now I just need to see a deal go down. So, have you got the goods? Of course, man. I uh, brought some top quality stuff. Now we're talking. Let's get... Hold up. What's going on, Rex? Don't tell me it's that Fidelio guy again. Nah, not him. It's just a feeling. Let's split for now. We'll meet back at up at Area B. Got it? G got it. Why did it get so quiet all of a sudden? What the? They're gone? Wait. Did he sense I was here and ran, uh, run away? Sure seems that way. Right over those boxes by the look of it. So this is what Fidelio uh, meant about him being really good at sensing danger. It'll be a tough one to catch. Not go uh, it's not going to happen if I waste my time standing around here though. Better find out where he went. Well... He did say he has two, uh, spots. Next up is the old schoolhouse. Hey, you! Oh. Hey, Patrick. I see you're hard at work again as the student council's errand boy. Though I can hardly imagine a more fitting role for a ringleader of a class of misfits. Um... He almost seems, uh, seemed kind of down after last month, like he regretted what he said. But it looks like we're back to the old Patrick again. What are you smiling about? I hope you're not expecting an apology for what I said last month, because if you, uh, if so, you'll be waiting a long time. I admit, losing my composure like that wasn't befitting of my status as a member of nobility, but I... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I don't feel bent out of shape or anything, so let's just put it behind us, okay? T trying to feign uh, nonchalance, are you? Always have to be cool, uh, one, don't you, Schwarzer? Hmm, no matter. I'll leave you to take care of whatever menial chores you've uh, been saddled with today. But I have no intention of letting you get the better of me again, in the classroom or in combat, so be ready. Uh, what was that all about? I guess that means he really has been dwelling on what happened last month this whole time. <laughs> Maybe he's not half bad after all. Alright. Let's go catch us a shady deal. There it is. Hide behind here. There he is. Same guy from before was with him too. You should have the pictures on hand, so now would be the time to ask. Sorry, do you have a minute? Who's that? Have you got a new customer? Nah, pretty sure he, that's Reen from Class 7. You know, the guy who's always helping out the student council. Damn, we just about closed the deal too. He might have been the one uh, you noticed earlier then. 
No doubt about it. And he's headed straight for us. Can't let him see the stash, though. What are we going to do? He's already pretty close. Don't worry, I've got a plan. If we make it out of here alive, we'll meet at point C. You ready? Yeah. I've got some questions for you two. Whoa, what are you doing over there with, uh, in that revealing swimsuit, Elisa? What? <laughs> really? Wait, Elisa? Why would she even be in a swim... Son of a... And they're gone already. Well, they're fast, if nothing else. Ah, they got me good this time. It didn't seem like they'd finished their trade, though. I've been uh, to the places Fidelio mentioned, but it seems like they have another meeting spot. They'll want a place where no one can find them. Maybe like a building that's not used very often. Best start searching, then. Alright, let's see. Hmm. A building that's not... You know what, there's... Auditorium, because what... Didn't it say, like... Like, the auditorium, like, barely gets used? Or whatever? Oh, hey, there he is. Well, not the guy I'm looking for. This, uh, what's his name? Uh, Patrick. He said as much when we talked to him. I'm going the right... Man, I'm going the long way. Oh, well. Get out of my way. The auditorium's open. Maybe he found his way in here. Okay. Nice and big. Alright, where's my little rat? There he is. I'm coming for ya. Except there's nowhere to go right there. Why did I even... All right, let's go. Nice, I'll take this one. Well then, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, seriously, again? Okay, gotta go later. Wait up, Rex. Okay, hand it over. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, uh, but you shouldn't have that photo. Guess I'm sunk. Fine, here you go. Mean confiscated the offending photo. Is this President Toa? I'm a big fan, alright. What, you got a problem with that? Not exactly. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I heard that uh, Rex was taking inappropriate photos, but... This is just a picture of her working, like she always does. Isn't it great? It's Toa in her natural habitat. How can your heart not melt when you see that sweet look of determination? Sneaking a picture like that, uh, like this is an art, and you can't deny that Rex is a master of his craft, can you? Can you? Well, I really can't. But he still took this photo without permission, so... Yeah, I figured as much. That's why I handed it over. Are you sure uh, you should be standing here talking to me while Rex gets away? Er, yeah, good point. I can tell that he's still somewhere in the auditorium, though. Seems like he's planning on hiding out in here and hoping I'll leave. I've got some bad news for you, Rex. Either way, I'd better not catch you buying candid photos again, got it? Yeah, got it. Alright, where are you? Not on this floor, huh? Can I just... Nope. You know, I've never actually... Huh. Let me guess. Up the stairs? Let's see. 
Yep, there he is. Seriously, dude? You had the perfect opportunity to run out the door. Hey there. Sorry, Rex. It's over. There's nowhere to run. Just come quietly and brace for the, uh, for a lecture from Fidelio. <sighs> How'd you even think to look up here? All right, the game's up, Rex. Hand over all those photos you've been taking without their subject's permission. Don't even think about holding on to the photo courts you used to take them. Fine, this is all I've got, though. Fidelio took the photographs and photo courts from Rex. None of them... Wow, they're remarkably uh, varied, aren't they? And it looks like uh, there are even more on the photo courts, too. <laughs> well, yeah. These are really nice photos, though. I'm surprised. So am I. They're all very characteristic of the girls featured in them. They really convey the girls' individual charms. So, you like them too, then? They're beautiful photographs, I'll give you that. So... But that doesn't change the fact that they were taken without the girls' permission. It doesn't matter how well taken a picture is if it's... If its subject doesn't want to be photographed. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say here, don't you? I guess, yeah. By the way, we heard uh, that you were exchanging them with some of the other students. That's right. I'm afraid we're going to need to ask you to give us whatever you traded for, too. Fine. Rex handed Fidelia a magazine. It's full of pictures of girls. Well, at least he wasn't selling them for Mira. So, now what happens to me? If the photos were too risque, I was going to tell you to leave the club, but I think I know just the way to put this all behind us. Fidelio tore uh, up the photographs and put the photo quartz under a bright light, utterly destroying the photographs on it. No! All my hard work! All my blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> Compared to having the instructors find out about what you're, you were doing, this is a cakewalk. Well, that's true. I doubt anyone other than Fidelia would have forgiven me for what I did either. <laughs> well, you're a top-notch photographer, after all. I know you'll do great things if you put your mind to it. You really think so? Um, I'm sorry I haven't been coming to the club for a while, too. <laughs> as long as you realize what you did was wrong, I have no intention of harping on the matter any further. It looks like everything's okay between them now. That's a relief. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you to stop taking pictures of girls, but make sure you get their permission in the future, okay? I'm sure the photographs you take will turn out even better that way. Okay. Well, that was an outcome. All right, so next up is over by the upper classroom, uh, upperclassmen's dorm. I believe, I think so. Ah, it's inside. Well, I've never, ooh, pretty nice looking place. All right, so to talk to you, you're Bridget from Class 2, right? If so, I'm here to help with the request that you sent in to the Student Council. That's me, alright. And you're Reen from Class 7? Now that we've established that we know each other, let's get down to business. Can you get started right now? I sure can. Ask away. <sighs> Thank you. So you wrote that you're having some issues with your childhood friend. That's right. Ellen from Class 4, to be specific. We're from the same town, and we used to go to Sunday school together. I ended up having to leave that school, though. And I never saw him after that, so that's why I was so happy to run into him again here, but... Ah, I see where this is going. You're an upper-class student, though, aren't you? 
Surprised you were childhood friends with someone who, well, isn't. <laughs> what? Is it that weird? Well, I wouldn't say it's weird, but it's pretty rare, isn't it? Well, it's true that nobles and commoners don't have many opportunities to interact with one another in Erebonia. I'm just the daughter of a baron, though, so our family isn't all that influential. My father was never one to put much importance on social standing, either. He even let me attend Sunday school on my own since it was close enough to home. That would explain it. I guess her dad's kind of like mine. So, what exactly, uh, would you like me to do? You said you weren't sure of what he was thinking. Well, I'm not sure why, but Alan's been doing everything he can to avoid me ever since we met up again here. He just gives me the cold shoulder whenever I try to speak to him, too. That's not good. Any idea why he might be acting like that? Not at all, which is why I'm so worried. I haven't done anything that could have offended him the few times we've talked. And it's not like he'd have some grudge from when we were younger, either. We got along so well uh, back then that we used to play together all the time. Hmm. It would be one thing if he was just avoiding me, but he started uh, treating me like some sort of nuisance. As far as I can tell, something uh, seems to have happened to him at the fencing club. Those uh, could definitely be related. Either way, seems like the quickest solution is to ask Alan himself. S slow down for a sec. Don't worry, I'm not just going to walk uh, right up to him and ask him directly. But he might be more willing to open uh, up to another guy about it. I'll go talk to him and try and figure out uh, what's going on it, what's going through his head. Well then, thank you. Okay, I'd better go find him. Actually, before I do, do you know if he'll be at the fencing club today? Most likely, yes. You'll probably find him in the training hall. Got it. Before you go, Reen, please, promise you'll tell me everything you managed to get out of him. If I'm to if I'm to blame here, I'd rather know. Please don't hide that from me. I won't, I promise. Um so I have one idea as to what's going on. And it's a um, pretty easy uh thing. But I could be wrong, so my guess is that he likes her more than just friends or something. I don't know. That That's just my initial thought. And it's like, oh, social standing. Oh. Wait a second. What? This ain't the same girl, is it? 